Welcome to the fourth tutorial of Hibernate and in this series of tutorial we saw different configurations and how to create one to one mapping and let me create many to one or you can say as one to many mapping so for creating one to many mapping I need one to many annotation and control shift O will give the dependency and this is related to one to many so this won't work here and neither to these getters and setters so I am removing this and I will provide collection of subjects inside a professor so that a professor can teach multiple subjects so I will make private collection and provide this as subject and make it as subjects and I will initialize to array list and I will click on it's ok now and what I will do, I will provide getter and setter for this go to the source and provide getter and setter click on select and click on ok so our one to many mapping has been done now and subject will remain same as it is and what I will do in our main file I will create one more subject and I will provide this as S1 this is S2 similarly this is S1 and S2 so we have our two subjects and what I will do in the professor dot get subjects I will just add subject in this collection list similarly p dot get subject dot add s2 so now this is fine and for saving this I need to save dot save s2 now it's okay and when I'll run this schema see we got actually three tables one is professor and there is our subject and Hibernate provided on its own a professor subject relationship where a professor ID is matched to multiple subjects so when we will see the schema and when I will do the refresh see we got professor, professor and subject Prof professor will be same as it is one of Sumit and subjects will be two one is Java and another is also Java let me just change the subject of this so that we can have more clear picture hibernate and let me close this and again turn this and when I will see the subject here see we got two subjects hibernate and java and professor was one and the mapping will is done by hibernate in another table that is select star from professor subject it was created by hibernate on the basis of the table name that is professor and subject so first id is of professor with id 1 is mapped to multiple subjects so this is done by hibernate actually what happened here is three subject three tables separate tables has been created and so in that scenario if I don't want the third table we just want the subject to have the professor id attached to it so let's see how we can do this let me drop the tables inside this let me drop all the tables and I will drop just three tables drop now and let me do the refresh yes and now what I will do here just to avoid the third table one to many mapping is done and in the one to many mapping and I will do here many to one mapping also for the professor so at the rate many to one and I will provide the private professor prof and this is ok and 
I'll provide the Git run setter for this. So I'll click on right click and go to source, generate Git run setters, select all, click on finish. So our professor has been created in the subject table and I want this to be mapped by this. So I'll just write mapped by provide the name of the mapping so that it is to be known by the hibernate that professor is mapped in the subjects with prof and inside this I'll save this and I'll provide control z at the rate right join column so that it is to be noted that professor will be a new column in the subject so when I'll run this let's see what happens see we got only two tables that is professor is there and subject is there and multiple subjects is mapped to professor that is prof id so when I'll check the database and I'll see the schema so you got only professor and subject no extra table has been created for this so when I'll run this query for professor professor will be same as it is and for subject we will have the entries as it was earlier but one extra line is added that is for professor id and why this is not coming here is because we have not provided the professor in the subject so let me so in database it is coming null because we have done set the professor id in the subject we have created the subject professor id we have created the professor in the subject but we didn't create the subject in the professor so for that one more thing is required to be done here that is s1 dot set professor that is p and s2 dot set professor as p only so we have done the setting of this also so now when i will run this see we got only two table professor and subject and when we will check this database for professor only one professor is there and for subject two subjects are there where professor id is also there related to subject that is subject 1 is taught by professor 1 and subject 2 is taught by professor 2 in this way we can do the mapping and just to avoid the extra mapping that is an extra table creation of extra table can be avoided by using mapped by before the collection part and join table in the area where we want to provide the column so this was about one to many and many to one mapping the next part we will see about many to many mapping thank you